Good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful Monday morning? I figured the you guys... The sun is shining, right? <laughs> yeah. You'll understand in one minute why yes. it's dark and why we made this video in the dark, but I figured you guys would really like to hear TQ's voice say the good morning rather good than morning. mine. Mine always comes in really loud and right off the rip and wakes you up. Yeah. But anyways, guys, we're... uh. Going to be going over something here that we ordered probably a month ago, but with all of the deliveries, shortages, you know, shipping issues and stuff going mm -hmm. on this year, it kind of took a little bit extra time to get here. But we're going to be upgrading a piece of equipment here for snow removal and snow season, and it's a safety piece of equipment. So yes. let's go ahead and just hop into this video real quick. TQ, let's go. So real quick before we hop into this video, we are going to have flashing lights and strobe lights in this video. And any of you that have any kind of sensitivity to that, I'd go ahead and just either put some sunglasses on or whatever you need to do to be able to watch the video and be safe. We just wanted to give you a real quick warning that there are going to be strobe lights and flashing lights in this video. So when you're doing lawn care or snow removal, you need to be seen, whether that's behind the truck or trailer, out in the street, or if you're snow plowing, shoveling, whatever, you need to be seen. And this light that we are currently running is about 12 inches long by about eight inches wide, roughly, maybe even a little bit smaller than that. And it's made by a company called X-Bright, roughly around 40 to $45 on Amazon. So the X-Bright is a good option if you're just looking to get into the safety light realm of things. For 40 to 45 bucks on Amazon, you know, you can't go wrong with it. It's a cheaper option compared to some of these get thousands of dollars, guys. So if you're just hopping into it, you need a safety light for lawn care or snow plowing. This X-Bright light, even though the plugs are a little, you know, you got to be careful with the plugs sometimes it will definitely get a light on top of your truck and it's not going to break the bank it's definitely affordable option for sure so i'm going to show you up closer just a little bit of this light i'm going to have tq drive down the road and show you what it looks like kind of just driving to see if it's something you guys are interested in and if you are i'll throw the links down in the description none of this video is affiliated we have no discount codes unfortunately to offer you guys i wish i did maybe that'll change down the road but as of right now this is the x -Bright light, and then we're going to have something a little bit more special to show you guys in just one second. So as you can see, it is very visible from the rear of the truck. Now that has its limitations, guys, because as you can see, it's really not shining very far out the front of the truck. And I'll be honest with you, this light is hard to see from the front. So I do keep it on the back here because most of the time the traffic is coming up from behind of us and I want us to be as visible as possible from back there. But now moving forward, we want a bigger light so that we can be seen from all the way around. So as you guys can see, it's definitely visible from the rear of the truck. Now TQ is going to go down the road and she's going to come back. So here she comes. And as you can see, not real visible from the front of the truck. I mean, you can see it, but it's just a really small light, guys. So first and foremost, good job backing the truck up in the dark. Thanks. I know with those lights on, it, yeah, uh, it can be blinding. Pretty bright, pretty bright. We're probably really light right now also. So now we're going to go ahead and swap out the smaller X-Bright light for something a little bit bigger. We're going to show you up close real quick and then we'll throw it on the truck and see exactly how bright it is. We have not seen it yet other than when we ordered it probably mm -hmm. a month ago or so. so. Just on the computer screen. Let's get to it. <laughs> So this is our new light, guys. This one is made by Superior LED. I believe he's out of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. And uh, a buddy of mine, Dan, you guys know Dan, Oil Pump Dan, we call him. <laughs> <laughs> so Oil Pump Dan suggested these to us. This is what he's rocking. He has two different ones on his truck from the same exact company, and he's had zero issues out of them. And you can call him up or go on his website and you can order them exactly the way you want them with whatever colors you want on them. Mm -hmm. We chose a color that we've been wanting to rock here in Ohio and a color that I think in 2018, Ohio made it was the first state that allowed to uh, run these style lights or these color lights. Uh, if you are looking to get something for your lawn care snow removal business, you, you cannot put anything red, blue, any of those colors that are affiliated with ambulances and fires, you know, cops, anything like that. You don't want that. Neither do you want to resemble that and you'll get yourself in trouble. So uh, just check with each one of your state laws, see which light colors you can run. Uh, a lot of times it's amber, amber and white, mm -hmm. but 
we went a little bit special with this one. So this light is 30 inches long from side to side. So it's gonna give us a high visibility. These are LED lights, so they're gonna last a really long time and be really bright. We went with a two color scheme in here. I'm not gonna tell you which colors <laughs> just yet. And if you flip the light over here, you'll see it has six magnets on it all the way down through here. And for 30 inches, you're gonna want a good base and a good uh, magnet that's gonna hold it firm onto the truck. You don't want any wobbling. You're gonna hear that inside the cab and it'll be just bad, okay? So you can spin these and adjust them if one is a little higher than the other your truck should be level unless you've been doing some uh, extracurricular maybe <laughs> off-roading hitting branches and stuff like that and then it comes with a really long cord i don't remember exactly how long it is uh, and then it comes with your standard off and on switch and then you'll be able to go through all of your system uh system settings i don't remember how many settings are on this one but we'll uh, run through some of them in just one second So now there's only one other thing left to do. Let's swap them out, TQ. Let's go. If you want to, you can hand that one up to me and then I'll have you get that cord out of that one. Bring it up. So let me turn off the lights out here that we're using for filming purposes. And then TQ, you go ahead and fire it up and let's see what it can do, okay? All right. Shabam! There she is! <laughs> so guys, we're gonna play around with all the settings in just one moment. I went ahead and had TQ put it onto a solid feature just so you can see just how bright those LEDs are. And I'll tell you what, that green and white is it's popping. Poppin'. <laughs> we were debating between going with a green and amber, which is really popular in our area right now. Mm -hmm. But with the truck being white, I just think the white and green looks a lot better. Yeah. It's uh, got that sexy appeal to it, I guess you could say. I'm, I like lights, so... Yes. Uh, that baby's bright. And uh, the hardest options you're gonna have is just choosing which color scheme you wanna go with and just how wide you wanna go, mm -hmm. okay? You gotta choose between a foot, you know, 24 inches, 30 inches, you know, 36 inches. You can go as big as you wanna go and how visible you wanna go. I think 30 inches for our style truck and our cab size was the perfect size for it. And uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So there's only one thing left to do, TQ. I need you to run it up and down the road so we can see it kind of front, back, and side to side. And do I get to play with the buttons too? Yeah, you get to push Yay. all kinds of buttons. Hit it, TQ. So I don't know about you guys, but that looked pretty darn sweet. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think of the new light. getting pretty good at that backing up stuff you did wow, great thank you that's practice so this is a solid feature that you see right now the lights are just on this is good for like if you need to get something out of the bed of the truck if your cab light isn't bright enough or whatever you can just go ahead and click that on or if you're just parked and you're just you don't want to be flashing or anything like that you can turn it on and it's really highly visible 
uh, I'll tell you what, some of those patterns were really, really cool. And uh, they kind of make my eyes even a little bit tricky. <laughs> <laughs> I know, noticed whenever I was driving down the road, you could see it a lot better compared to the other one that we had. Yeah, I don't know if the camera will do it justice, but when you were driving, I could actually see it hitting the houses as really? you were going down the road. Nice. And the features in the yards. It was really, really bright. So we'll let you know long term how much we like this light, how long the lights last. From everything I've heard uh, from Dan and stuff, these lights have been great for him for mm -hmm. five five years now roughly and uh our little x bright light it's worked now for two to three years uh it's a 40 dollars light but obviously with anything you can get better you can get brighter you can get leds versus other light styles that are out there uh, it really just comes down to your budget and what you're going to use it for and uh really what you want you know uh every light has its uh class i guess you could put it into and what it would be used on the little x bright light worked just fine for us for a long time but it was just time to upgrade and uh yeah be that's a little more visible absolutely absolutely <laughs> So, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep plowing, keep salting, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQM. Peace. Bye.